Hey, what's up, guys? Meteorologist Doug Hetty. It is Thursday, uh, midday. Weather savants video. We got showers, we got thunderstorms, we got snow out there. So, what we're going to do today is uh, we're going to take a look at the hot spots, which is actually the central plains as we go through the daytime hours. And then we're going to look at the thunderstorms that are going to roll through today, a little bit of snow behind it, and then look at the next few days as much colder air is going to start to work in. Of course, huge shout out to my guys, Superior Roofing and Construction. They are a four-state premier roofing contractor. They're family-owned, operated in Joplin, 7th and High Street. Uh, they did my roof, gosh, when? Maybe November-ish. Um, of course, we're going into severe weather season. Their numbers right there on the screen. We are going to have a decently active severe weather season, which uh, last year was, we, we had hardly anything. I, I think last year was the calmest spring I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, but we have a lot of events this year, so we're going to have those opportunities for quite a bit of severe weather as we go through. Uh, it, well, severe weather season really goes to about June 10th, June 15th or so. Anybody drink these? Everybody makes fun of me for these. I love LaCroix. I think it is freaking fantastic. But nobody else likes them. All right, so let's get to it. Let's see what's going on. All righty. We got showers. We got thunderstorms, which are building. We do have a high, high severe threat today. And this is kind of... Uh, let's say southeastern parts of Oklahoma, northern parts of Texas, western parts of Arkansas. That's where the high threat for severe weather is later on today. And still a severe threat in northwest Arkansas and even into northeastern Oklahoma. Once you get to Joplin, the severe threat is, is pretty low. Uh, there could be a random severe thunderstorm maybe in extreme southwestern Missouri, north eastern parts of Oklahoma, northwest of Arkansas. Once you get farther north than that, it looks like just showers and thunderstorms. Look at this. Look at the snow. So Twin Cities are going to get hit again, which is um, frustrating because I love snow so much. And we just couldn't get that much this year. I thought for sure the way the storm systems were tracking out this year that uh, we would get some good snow. We just can't get the cold air. We only have the cold air. Really, uh, that that big stretch right before Christmas. All right, snow, central, western parts of Kansas, and then all the way down through the panhandles of Oklahoma and Texas. So let's go ahead and let's tour and see what's going on. Uh, Pittsburgh, Joplin, Neosho to Pineville, Miami, Vanita. These are just light showers. It's very windy out there. The thunderstorms are picking up. Uh, once you get west of Tulsa, down toward Oklahoma City, we aren't seeing anything severe at this point in time but these these guys are starting to pick up and this is the cluster that's going to head toward us as we go through the afternoon hours for us today but you can see these are increasing Oklahoma City and then stretching back toward the southwest uh, a little complex showers and thunderstorms Elk City but again the high severe threat for today is down in this area southeastern Oklahoma really Fort Smith the River Valley down toward Texarkana, um, stretching all the way back to Dallas. So these storms are already starting to pop up. Uh, all of these are going to drive northeast as we go through the afternoon hours. So let's go to it. Let's go to a future track and see what's going to happen. So I'm going to stop this here at 2 p.m. So at this point in time, I don't think really anything severe is going on, but you can see thunderstorms popping up southeastern Kansas. See this wind shift line here? All right, so from Kansas City, see the, see how the wind shift line, we have southwesterly winds, and then they immediately switch to the northwest. So that's the front. So these storms are building along the cold front, and you can see this wind shift line all the way back to Oklahoma City. So that's where the showers and thunderstorms are going to be. But then look at this, drastically colder behind the front, and we all switch to snow across central parts of Kansas. But along the front and ahead of the front, that's where the severe weather is going to be today. All right, let's go a little bit farther. Um, I hate when stuff pops up on my windows. All right, so here's 3.30. Now we have a line of showers and thunderstorms. Again, most likely not severe from really Joplin back to Tulsa. These guys could be severe 
south of Tulsa, working in the southeastern parts of Oklahoma. Now, if we go farther north, Kansas City, this is interesting. You're dropping into the 30s. You got moderate rain and then switching over to uh, a rain, snow mix and snow just to the west, uh, really from Lawrence, Topeka, back toward Manhattan, Salina, Wichita, all getting snow. All right, let's continue a little bit farther into the afternoon. Here's 5.30 p.m. Now the front is through Joplin. It is just to the west of Springfield up toward Columbia. So we have this little line of storms. Again, I don't think they, those are going to be severe. But once we get into northwestern Arkansas down toward Fort Smith, those are the guys that could be severe. So we need to watch this later on, uh, especially in northwest Arkansas, Fort Smith, River Valley. Look at this southeastern parts of Oklahoma. All right, let's continue. As we go through the evening, here's 730. Look at the cold air working in. So now Kansas City is getting light snow. Could even get some light accumulations, a dusting to half an inch, and then light snow back through southeastern Kansas. Severe weather. Uh, I mean, just these guys most likely are going to spin up some tornadoes. Southern parts of Arkansas, uh, really right around Texarkana. So if you're down in that area, that's where it's going to get tricky. All right, let's continue. Look at this, a little band of snow. This is 10 p.m., so southeastern Kansas. Uh, again, I don't expect much in the way of accumulation. Maybe a dusting, maybe a quarter of an inch in spots, and then this whole storm system's gone. Much colder air works in for us tomorrow. Highs mainly into lower 40s. It stays cold. We drop into the 20s Saturday, Saturday morning, and then by Saturday afternoon, we only warm into the upper 30s, which is that's pretty cold across the region. So it is going to get much colder as we go through the next couple days. Of course, we have the thunderstorms this afternoon. I think I can explain where I really think most of the severe weather is going to be. Tomorrow on Savant's video, we'll go back and do long range forecasts. Our next severe threat moves in next Thursday. Um, and then we really get rolling because we're getting closer to April and April is going to be an active month. If you guys have any questions, comments, leave them in the comment section below. Hope you guys have a great Thursday. I'll be at KOAM. Uh, we don't have a six tonight because of um, March Madness basketball, but we do have a five, nine, and ten. So I'll see you guys there.